Hello and welcome to an opening uh, video of the Pokemon Psycho Drive cards. Um, please note this is Korean, so it's obviously not going to be in English. And I bought it from Playfirst Store on um, eBay. They have their own store as well. And I must say, the, the this box itself was twenty pound, and it also comes with two extra boosters: a Call of Legends, and I'm not sure what that is. Now, one interesting thing about these, they seem to only have five cards in them, I believe. I'm not sure. Yes, I think that says five and one hollow, maybe? I'm not sure, um, which is odd, because we usually have a pack of nine, I think, over here. Um, I don't know why I'm reading this, because I can't read Korean, unfortunately. However, I will try to make a setup so that I can open these, you know, nicely, without having to hold them in one hand and try and, you know, open the packs to the other. So I'm probably going to switch to a different angle, possibly use my bed. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, welcome back. Um, this will probably be a two-part video, I'd imagine, maybe. First up, I'm going to open some of these boosters. Uh, well, the, the two boosters that, um, that they included free with this, which I, I'm, I'm really impressed with. Um, cards seem to be the same size as the normal ones. Hopefully they are. Um, wow, these are certainly an interesting pack to open. Okay, uh, um, maybe from this side. Oh, these are not budging. Wow. Um, I, I know the packaging. Um, I've seen this this type of packaging before on my brother once bought me a pack of Japanese gym heroes well a, a booster pack um, which I got plain shiny mocus so I was pretty impressed and uh, it came like this and I believe we have to use the scissors uh, I may have to go and get a scissors to open this I'm not sure I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. I think the camera angle probably slightly changed because I just knocked the box over holding the camera. I am unfortunately going to have to open this via a scissors. Um, okay, right. Well, back. Got you know. Right, there are only five cards in the pack, which is uh, surprising, but you know, I don't mind. So. We have, uh, oh god, I'm going to have to remember all their names now in English. Um, I'm sorry if I get some of these wrong. Black and white, I know a lot of the Pokemon, but some of them I can't remember either. Uh, well, that's Sandile. Pretty nice art. I am going to go through the art as well. Um, if you're simply interested in just the cards and like the battle strategy and not the art at all then I do apologize I this may go on a while Sandile 70 HP he does an attack that does 10 plus um yeah I mean I don't think I'm ever going to play these against anyone and oh good it has these set numbers because the Japanese cards I'm not sure if they still do them but had the Pokedex numbers which was good it did mean you couldn't tell how many in the set you had because a lot of sets wouldn't include all of the Pokemon from, you know, the entire 150 from the original, for example. Oh, that's a common, I believe. Yeah. We have Palpitoad, maybe? I think it's Palpitoad. Pretty cool artwork, actually. I really like that. Um, 90 volts from... Uh, Tim Paul, I think. It's a common too. I think it has a C there. To know if there is a common, maybe. Uh, that is Nidoran. No, Nidorino. Sorry, not Nidoran. Was it Nidorina? I can't remember that how the genders work. Oh God, I'm terrible at this. I'm sorry. This commentary must be really, really annoying to uh, people. 
I think the sea means that's a common as well. I think the Koreans have a different way of notifying what they are. Ooh, a Steelix! Whoa! Okay, this is a really cool card. Um, yeah, this is weird. It's kind of like a full art card, but it's not shiny. I hope these are real cards. Um, I'm not sure what that even says. That's our C. That's, uh, okay, whatever. Um, if these are fake or whatever, let me know. Uh, this did admittedly only cost £20 for an entire booster box, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I sort of collect them for the cards uh, and the art and stuff. I have a feeling this may be a full art, non-hollow full art, maybe? Oh, it's got a Team Plasma thing in the background, actually. That's really cool. Yeah, so I'm assuming that's, like, one of the rarer ones, maybe? And I have... I'm sure that's going to be... Well, that's something with energy. I think energy grab, maybe? I'm going to make an assumption here. There are 51 cards in the set. Okay. This may be a plasma-related thing. I don't know. This looks like Call of Legends, but maybe it's not. I'll have to check. I'm sure this is, because I bought a booster that's Call of Legends. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so those were those cards. Now on to the other booster pack. Anyway, again, I'm going to have to use this. I, I really don't want to, as it sort of ruins the artwork, but uh, it's necessary, really, as I'm not really sure how else to open this. I'll use them here as well. Right. Let's begin with a... A... Oh, it's uh, it's the evolution of Elgium. Oh, um... Behem? Behem? Is this a... Full art? Yeah, this is a plasma one as well. Right, okay, so I think these are plasmas, so there's, they're not going to be hollow or anything. They're actually just plasma. Um, so I'm assuming that's like Plasma BHM or something. Uh, a really, really sort of... I couldn't tell where it was for a second. I thought that would it was a Volbeat's head. And then I thought due to the green it was a Curlia or a Ralts or something. Well, let's see. That's uh, from a different set, obviously, so it's out of a different number. 70. Dodiwo. It's pretty basic Dodiwo artwork there. Happily standing near a river, near a house. The owners of the dodo will probably live in the house, maybe. Maybe they don't. Also, sorry, going back to the plasma thing for a second. 90 HP, that's pretty good. Attack to do 20 and an effect. I don't know what the effect is. Unfortunately, just a heads up, I have not properly collected Pokemon cards since... I'd say about the Team Rocket set, which is like early 2000, so... I'm really out of this, unfortunately. Ooh, a Riolu! I think I have that Riolu. I don't know, maybe I don't. Maybe I have a different Riolu. Is that a shiny Riolu? Slightly differently coloured. Uh, it's nothing special, I'd imagine. A Magneton. Quite like that Magneton. It looks to be near a church, which is cool. Um, 80 HP. Wow, these Pokemon are pretty actually good. I don't know, I haven't properly played in a while. Um, 30 and an effect. Last one is a Betic. That's cool. Wow, he looks really awesome actually. Just in some stadium and a Cub Chew evolves from. 130 HP. Wow, okay. An attack that does 90 for two water and a colorless. That's. Wow. I imagine maybe the effect is something like flip a coin and you have to discard an energy maybe or something. And that does 20 plus. It's pretty good. That's not a rare I'm imagining. Or maybe it is a, a U. Maybe a U is slightly rarer. I don't know. Um, well, those were the two uh, booster packs that came with it. Uh, right, so now on to... I may actually do a look at the booster box, and I'll open it up, and then maybe I'll do part two as 
half of the boosters, I think there's 30 in the box, so I'll open 15 in part 2, and 15 in part 3. Okay, this is the booster box, it has Mewtwo on the front, this is basically the main reason. Um, my main reason for buying this actually is because I wanted to buy a booster box after watching several um, booster box openings. But I realised they're really expensive, so I thought I'd start off with something like this. And see if it's my type of thing, because this is only £20, and you get a fair amount of cards, I'd say, with it. This is apparently a Psycho Drive set. Um, I've done a quick Google search. Psycho Drive seemed to be a legit expansion. Uh, made in Korea. Yeah, it's got the Nintendo things on and Game Freak, so... I mean, yeah, it seems to be legit and everything. I mean, it's got the artwork and everything. I really, really, really do hope this is official. Now, from what I can feel, it opens up like a box here. Um, just keep in mind, I, I don't think this is fake because it's Korean. I just... I have a slight doubt because it was so cheap. Um, but then... I'd imagine possibly the Korean version of Pokemon cards are not quite as universally uh, sought after and such. Thus, you know, these would be less expensive. Uh, wow, there's a lot of cello tape on this. But as I undo it, I'll keep talking. Um, I've, I've seen a few other sets from this guy as well, like there's one with Giratina on the front, I believe, and such. So, I'm not really sure, to be honest. Um, imagine this is real, and if not, I haven't, you know, wasted any money, really, on it. I'll have some Pokemon cards to uh, collect. Actually, talking about uh, non-legit ones. Okay, right, it does open from the thing, but can I open it from here? Uh, the answer seems to be no. Unless there's a way. Okay, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll be right back.